we bless your holy name. Father God, you are the healer, Lord. You're the restorer. Yes, you are, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are the restorer, Jesus. As I was up here standing, the Lord said, this is for somebody in here, or it's even for someone on the internet. I don't know who you are, but you've been praying for your son and daughter to come back to the Lord and he says he's heard your prayers and your, and he said your prodigal son your prodigal son is ready to come he's ready to come back thank you Jesus Lord I thank you Jesus thank for you, that Lord. prodigal son Lord Lord, I thank you for that prodigal daughter, God. Lord, I thank you for the parents who've been on their knees and crying out for their children that have never given up, but Lord, they have trusted you. And Lord, since they have trusted you, you said it is time. It is time that you're coming back. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for that prodigal son. We give you praise today, Jesus, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, even when you brought my daughter back, God. Five years, God. You just remind me of that. Five years you brought my daughter. Five years of prayer and crying out to you that you freed my daughter. I thank you for my prodigal daughter, God. Lord, so today we thank you for the prodigal son. We thank you for the prodigal son, God. Lord, and we thank you for healing, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Restore, Lord. Father, I thank you, Father God. I received the word. I received the word for my son, Jamel. Thank you for Jamel, Father God. Thank you for Jamel. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I receive it for Jamel, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for Jamel returning, Father God. Thank you for Jamel returning, Father God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord God, we agree together. Hallelujah. Thank you for Jamel, Father yes, God. Lord. Your word, Your word will not return void, but it go forth into yes, that which you were sent to do. Father God, you said a particle son is a returning home. And Father God, that word is for everyone who wants to receive it today. It's not just for one person. Ah, da, da, ba, 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 di, yasa. So I receive it for my son, Jamel. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank hallelujah. You, the word said that my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Jesus. Jesus. We've been praying and asking God to do this. God, would you do this? God, would you do that? God, do this. God, do that. But Jesus said, it is finished. He did everything. Everything. It was already done. And then he went back to the Father. He said, our Father, which art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Whatever his will is. For earth, Father God, we call it to heaven. The Bible said for us to heal the sick. He said heal the sick. This is in Matthew 10, 8. 
heal the sick, cleanse the leopards, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely you give. <laughs> heal the sick. We're to do that. God is not coming down from heaven to heal nobody because over 2,000 years ago, it was done. Hey, glory. It was already done. Peter was a prime example when Peter and the man that was standing at the gate and he was begging for money. Trans paraphrasing. He was begging for money. And Peter looked at him and Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give unto you. He said, rise up and walk. Ah! God have given us that same power, that same authority. Jesus. And we wonder why we haven't, we are not seeing signs and wonders and miracles. That's why. I mean, all week I was just really getting into that because it's like God I want to get this I want to get this God hey yes, Lord. we can beg and we can plead with God <laughs> because we're not getting it but he's not going to Whatever reason why we're not getting it, he's not going to do anything else. Because that, against, that would be against his character. He've already said, you go heal the sick, cleanse the leopard, raise the dead, cast out demons. You heal the sick, you cleanse the leopard, you raise the dead. You cast out demon. Jesus. All power, all authority is in us. Why? Because the greater one lives in us. Greater than he is is in us, than he is is in the world. God have already commissioned us to go forth. We got to get this week. Well, maybe it's just Diane. Okay, Diane got to get this. Hallelujah. 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 My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Heal the sick, cleanse the leopards, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely you give. I just want this to really just penetrate this morning. Go from our head to our hearts. Because I've been reading, I've read that scripture so many times, but finally the revelation the understanding and how I've been praying for so many years for God to do this and God to do that. Begging, sometimes we beg and please with God. Well, God, why are you not doing it? God said, I did it already. It's already done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yay. Yea, whatever his will is for today in heaven, we call it to earth right now in Jesus' name. God have a purpose and a plan for this day. So in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, whatever it is, whatever it is, Father God. Father God, we send forth your word to heal. Hallelujah. We send forth your word to deliver. Yes, Lord, Hallelujah. Word. Hallelujah. We send forth your word to set the capture free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said we can speak to the mountain and tell the mountain to be thy remove 
and be cast into the sea. Father God, we speak to the mountain today. Every mountain. We tell you to leave now in Jesus' name. The mountain of situation, we say you must go now in the name of Jesus. The mountain of sickness, you must go now in the name of Jesus. He have given us power. He have given us authority. And we take it now in Jesus' name. Heal the sick. <laughs> Cleanse the leopard. Raise the dead. Set the captured free. Praise God. Bev asked me to speak. I knew right away what I was going to say because it's something that the Lord's been dealing with me for for a while, and it confirmed it when she said about her son or her daughter and the Lord bringing them back. Because I have a son, I'm actually going to go get him here. This made some pretty bad decisions in his life. He's been in and out of the system. He's been in Teen Challenge for a year and a half. So I've been praying with, for him for a while. And the other day, um, why well, I'm in morning person. I like to get up early in the mornings. And the other morning when I was up praying, the Lord brought a, um, something that I had watched on the news to my head. And what it was was a military reenactment of a battle. And he spoke to me and he said, Veronica, he said, you're fighting a battle. He said, the word says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities and power. And he said, it's time to get your battle dress uniform, your BDUs on. He said, it's time to go out and use the word. The word is our sword. This word here, you can tell mine's pretty used. But this is our sword. This is our sword. This is what we need to use to fight. We're not fighting, um, like I said, anything material, but it's flesh and blood. It's the principalities and, and powers. So as I thought about that, I saw this battle, and I saw... Um, the enemy, the enemy was attacking us all around. The, the, they were shooting. And then I saw our guys, which is us, which is us as Christians, moving forward with their armor and with their shields. And they were fighting back. And, and that's how we are with God. We are with God in our word. We have that. We have the equipment. We have the weapon. We have the weapon to fight. So that's what the Lord's been speaking to me. Is, is just to use the weapons, use what God's given us, because we have the power to fight it. So I'm claiming salvation, I'm claiming healing in the name of Jesus, because we've, all, like Diane said, we've already got the power. So I'm just going to pray real quick, and, and I say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want to thank you, first of all, Lord God, for this, your spirit in this place, Lord God. I thank you for leading me here, Lord Jesus. I thank you and I praise you, Lord Jesus. And Father, I thank you that your word says that we can come boldly before your throne, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and we can ask. Lord God, and I thank you. And your word says that if we ask it, we shall receive, Father, and I'm claiming it in faith. I'm asking, Lord God, that you would help me. God to rise up and fight the battle that's before me Lord God in the name of Jesus for our kids for what's going on around us Lord God for the for everything with the drugs and the opioid and, and everything that we've been attacked with God in this community in our families Lord God I'm just rising up and, and praying God in the name of Jesus Father God that you would just God heal us heal us Lord God you are the way you are the only way Father and I thank you I thank you, Lord God. I thank you. I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus because I know with you we can do all things. And I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. read 2 Corinthians 18 through 20. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to him through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliations. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them 
and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Therefore, we are the ambassadors for Christ, as through God we're pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. Let's go before the Lord. Heavenly Father, we come before you. And God, I give you praise because you are the I Am. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And God, you have appointed us since the beginning of this world, since Adam, to be the ambassadors for this world. Lord, you have appointed man to work and to rule this earth. And God, I pray that we will recognize who we are in you. That God, you have used us. We are imperfect. But God, you look upon us because of Jesus Christ as the perfect adopted sons and daughters. And God, I cry out to you for the lost that is out there. As the ambassador that you have called us to be, help us to walk through any fear that Satan puts on us. Let us pull it down in Jesus' name because it is you, O oh God, that has given us the power to stand upon your word. It is in you, O oh God, that we, O oh Lord, are your ambassadors that covers the whole earth. Lord, I pray for our families. I pray for the nation. Lord God, the United States. I pray for every nation around this world. I pray, oh Lord, for Israel. For, oh Lord God, I pray that every lost soul in every nation, Lord, someone, someone will be your ambassador and tell them about you. I pray, oh God, that the blinders would come off of their eyes, the veils would fall off, God. And Lord, they will see you. I pray that the demonic forces of Satan will be broken off of them, and God, their pure truth will set them free. I thank you, God, for the salvation of many souls. I thank you for the revival that you are sending to this earth. God, I thank you, Lord, that you have called our sons and our daughters to you but God you are all sons and daughters of you I give you praise God it is in you Lord that we oh Lord have hope that we have love and God we can speak the word knowing that you Lord will follow through because you are a God that never lies you are our Abba you are our father you you are our daddy and God we can trust in you always in you we trust in Jesus name hallelujah God praise you Lord hallelujah. there's an army rising up the Lord the spirit is here if you can't feel you need to move up here the anointing is powerful right here Hallelujah. When I was asked to come and speak, I was asked to come about revival. They've already said it all. They've already said it all. Acts chapter 2, 42 to the rest of the chapter. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had come everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. You know, we are entering Thanksgiving time. And there's many people that aren't thankful for what they have. They don't look very far. Last week when 
we were having prayer, God spoke to my heart and said, you need to go up front and talk. I'm like, I wrestled with God. I had no clue what I want to say, God. And I didn't. I went home, ate lunch, fell asleep. Had a dream. Had a dream that God was standing up front. Jesus was standing right here. Wedding music was being played. And all of us were standing outside that door. But the Holy Spirit was the usher. And at that time, I heard someone in behind say, but my, but your grace, but your grace. And he looked, the Holy Spirit looked at that person and said, you never put my grace on. You never put my grace on. We talk about God's grace, but we have to put it on. And with this Thanksgiving time, I remembered a story, well it wasn't a story, it was actually true. We used to sit down at the, the table the day before Thanksgiving, the evening before, and my mom always used to have silverware, except it was silver. And you know what happens to silver if you don't use it very much? It gets tarnished. And that reminded me about revival. Revival is wiping the tarnish off each day. And you know how you do that? With the Word and prayer and being in unity of spirit with others. There's going to be a revival in the land. And our sister started it off with covering. Our other sister took off with everything that she was saying and our other sister, so anointed, pray. It all goes together this morning, people. It all goes together. And what we need to do is pray right now. Our sanctuary right now is full of the Holy Spirit because each one of us is gathering His name together in our spirits. But as those doors open and more walk in, let us be prepared to be the lights, be the people that is going to take and share. This morning, Lord, we just thank you. We love you for your spirit that's here. Because you said where two or three are gathered in your name, you are here in the midst as well. Lord, and we feel that presence. God, this morning we ask that you would just allow the word of God to speak to us in a true and a special way. Lord, we thank you that you have used these ladies already. God, you've used them in a special way to speak about your goodness, to speak about life-changing power. This morning, Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit would walk through these aisles and, yes, and through the rows, God, as people are sitting here this morning. I ask the Holy Spirit to touch Pastor Blake as he's going to give the word. Anoint his lips, Lord, from coals with the, from the altar, Lord. I pray that it would just anoint as the, it's brought forth. Lord, and it would burn, and it would burn the chaff that is coming through. Lord, we ask that you would just help us all to gather in your name each and every time that we can gather. But Lord, if we cannot gather as a group, Lord, that our prayers would gather and be together in you as the disciples in Acts chapter 2. Lord, I pray that your anointing would be upon each and every one that's here. If there's healing that needs to be done this morning, Lord, let us raise our hands and say, I need to be healed. I need to be healed. God, fill us with that Holy Spirit, just like Peter, as we walk by, that our shadows would heal people. God, just give us that day that we can recognize you in everything. And that is that day is today. Lord, I thank you right now that you're going to use every person in this place. You're going to use every person in this place this week to start revival. And Lord, start it in our hearts today. God, we just love you and praise you. And we worship you in the name of Jesus. If there's anybody here now that needs prayer, I think this is the time that we need to pause and do that. Just going to give you a couple of seconds.
Is there any more?